This lesson is on states of matter where he's got a glass of water which is liquid, he's also got a balloon which is gas and Lego blocks which is the solid element. So the first thing you do when you're doing an artwork is you do your border all the way around the edge. Okay so we're going to draw the person. So the first thing you do is two hills. Under the hill is a circle but the top of the circle is hiding black dot in the middle for our pupil and then we're going to do the bottom of the eye just by joining that underneath there. Three little wiggles for the nose and we're going to do the mouth. So one dip, a couple of lines on the end and then a deeper dip there. Line across for the teeth. Two eyebrows and eyebrows are always thicker on the inside than they are on the outside. Cheek, chin and cheek comes next all the way nice and close under his mouth and then two ears just on the outside of where his eyes are. Now his hair, so zigzag, zigzag over the hill from ear to ear and then the second one we're going to go up higher and zigzag, zigzag, zigzag and down to the other side of his ear. Two little lines down for his neck. Okay, now I've got to imagine where his hand is that's holding the glass of water. So I'm going to do sort of some sausage lines here and they're his fingers. They're going to be wrapped around the glass. And then I'm going to do the glass because it's clear. You can still see his thumb through the other side and a wiggle there, which is where the water will be in the glass. Now that I've done that, I can actually join up his arm. The reason I did that first was because his hand is in front, so we need to see that bit. So there's his uh, arm, which goes towards his hand. Okay, I'm going to draw his other arm now, or T-shirt first. Okay, so I'm going to draw his hand where I'm imagining he would be holding a balloon. So same thing again, but the opposite way. Here's some sausage lines. The sausages are the shapes of the fingers and then his thumb which comes around the other side and then a back to front cut for cat sort of wiggle that down to here okay and that's going to be his elbow so you can al always have a look at your arms and things like that and figure out which way they go do they go up do they go down do they go sideways okay and there's my little balloon there as well okay so I'll just draw some shorts for him upside down V in the middle of his legs so we can see where his legs are Okay, so once I've finished doing that, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my solid elements, which are my Lego blocks. So I'm going to draw some rectangles with a circle in the middle and an extra little circle, uh, sort of like a moon shape on the side there. Um, that's just to add a bit of a dimension to the, um, the button bit sort of on the top of the Lego. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat that process and this one's going to have um, maybe four Oh no, only three on this one. Maybe the next one will have a few more. So I'm going to do this all the way around uh, behind my person until I fill up most of my space. Okay, now I'm ready for painting. So make sure you've got lots of water on your brush and go lots of circles when you're colouring. Okay, now when you do this water bit, see, I'm going to accidentally make a mistake there. See, it's running a bit, so I squeeze my brush and I just soak up that bit which went a little bit too far. Okay, now I can continue. Make sure you choose different colours to the colour that you chose when you did your crayon. That makes your picture stand out a bit more. Okay, now you see I've not done blue anywhere, so I can do blue for my background. You might like to choose a different colour, but just save one particular colour so you can use it for your background. So there we have it. There is my States of Matter artwork.